here to present on our presentation by uh, right, our team members are Gilos Reddy. Uh, he's the uh, operation head. Uh, Kusolo Reddy is the CEO of the Sony Sarkar and the marketing uh, management. And Marcus is the human resource. So I would like to start my presentation by giving a brief uh, overview of the company. Uh, well, uh, we started our uh, company uh, uh, by uh, with the three uh, beach craft uh, with the occupancy of 19 seats per plane, like every other company. And uh, since we provide the fastest and the cheapest uh, cheapest uh, means of transportation, we're also known as uh, right flight. So this is the overview of the company. Uh, our main vision is that uh, we 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 want that every people should afford to fly, and we're trying to make it possible by being by providing the cheap fare, not only cheap but the cheapest fare and high quality travel experience. Our company values are simplicity, directness, and relevance. Simplicity. Our company has a very simple management system. Uh, we 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 are not into advanced technology and uh, complex. Uh, a management system which which help us to reduce our cost directness uh, we are always seeking uh, we're always seeking for improvements and uh, uh, improvements uh, and uh, go further with the process and uh, activities by dealing with our staff members and uh, the customers openly and directly relevance we've entered our budget airlines by elevating the low price, high strategy, and simple operation techniques. Going to our ethics, uh, our aim is to uh, our aim is to be the first choice of uh, our customers, and uh, by following the transparent management system and fulfilling the, so, uh, the social and environmental responsibilities, uh, we are trying to first, uh, fulfill our social and environmental responsibilities. Though our company. Uh, main objective is to uh, uh, gain profit, but it is not only our objective. We, we seek to give back to our society and uh, our environment, making us the right choice. It is the principle of our company to contribute to the community in which we operate for the issue of equal opportunities, health, keeping cultural values under social responsibility consistence. So, going to so, go, coming towards the strategy of our company, the major strategy we used was we followed and now we stick to our corporate values. They were simplicity, uh, directness, and relevance. And we keep we keep going on with the constant uh, with the constant management system. We keep delivering the high quality cost efficient services, even though we were a, a budget airlines company. Our management, our managers, they were continuously monitoring and improving the cost list where it was possible. To do this, we had to go through some changes, like uh, we had to uh, terminate the cargo services at, as it was proving very unprofitable for us. And, uh, and we had to cut down our cost in marketing as well. And at one point, our finance was very low, so we also had to um, cut, cut down the wages of our employees as well. So thus, attract, uh, thus using this uh, management system, we attract customers by offering quality level uh, travel experience based on low operating costs, operational ex uh, ex excellence, and helping in helping in friendly services. Uh, industry analysis. Industry analysis is an important part of any business organization. Uh, especially in the case of airlines industry where um, the competition is very much intense and profit margin is relatively lower. Uh, the only profit we make is due to the economies of scale. Like we fly so frequently, we take so much passengers at the same time, we try to make uh, uh, profit through that. So we've used uh, Porter's five forces as our competitive analysis, like you can see bargaining power of customers, threat of new entrance, threat of substitute product, competitive rivalry within an industry, bargaining power of suppliers, like we've used this as our competitive advantage. Portus 5 Force Analysis is a framework to 
analyze level of competition within an industry and business strategy development. So, so this is like how we, this is how we derive our business strategy. Uh, industry analysis, a library in airlines industry. It's, it is intense, it's an index library in airlines industry since we already have like in, in our, in the whole course itself we have almost like five, five, five competitions among us, among which we were the only budget airlines. So, so, Maximum they, what they were doing in normal airline industry and what was in, in luxury and threat of new interest. Since the competition is already so high and we're trying to lower the price and raise our profit at the same time, we have to cut our operation costs. Industry analysis, supplies, power, aircraft manufacturer, leasing service. This where aircrafts are like very much becoming uh, expensive and. We can not only buy aircraft, but we can also lease aircraft, like lease aircraft in our uh, course as well. There, therefore, low cost strategy to them. We chose low cost strategy as our budget. Like, we, choose, we were like budget airlines, we were flying budget airlines, so we chose low cost strategy because like, we were the only ones flying and uh, we thought we could do better. We could cut down the margins and do it. Half of the occupancy in like, our first quarter, we have like duty regular fare in the second quarter. In the first quarter, we can see we like put on sales so that we can raise our occupancy level and we can actually we can also take this sale as our marketing strategy where we would introduce ourselves into the market. We can raise our we, we can show that we are like new in the market. We can introduce ourselves as like a good flight in the market. We had lots of up and down in our we had lots of up and down in our company. At first we were running at the highest point which we had the top stock market and we were the second profitable company among our competitors, high competitor. But after that we started doing leasing the aeroplane and selling our plane. Then at fourth quarter we were on this quarter when was a turning point for our company. In this quarter, we the maintenance was in maintenance. We had some extra cleaning and maintenance. We two weeks we allocated our twenty five hundred dollar for the aircraft for quarter. Fuel contract were taken at the fuel purchase of the port market in this quarter. Acquisition. This acquisition was a turning point for our company. We by this acquisition we were we moved to our, our loss in 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 this quarter we purchased two ADRs and sell our three beast craft and terminated the ADR plane which we leased in the previous quarter and our group were, we had five group where we were 1, 1, 8, 2B, 3C, 4D, 7EM, 49 in 2B was one of the highest selling group in our in our market so we put one one sales on 2B and put another sales on 14 yeah, because that was foreign. First quarter, the result of the company in the first quarter shows the good beginning by the new management. The company had highest stock price and was second in aid profit, as I mentioned earlier. And the balance for card unless it was like this. highest customer satisfaction, ticket sales, percentage satisfaction, and basic highest load factor. In highest customer satisfaction, there were we were as being a budget bar. Budget airlines, we keep our low cost on ticket pricing and to achieve our more target, we constantly put in discounts on our fare of 76% on e market, 68% on 2B, and 76% on 3C, and 77 on 4D, and 782 on 70. The diagnosis of the population. The company was not able to perform in the long run and hence at the end of the simulation faced every loss of 1.3 million on the end of the quarter, on the quarter. There were two major reasons identified for the failure. There were low reliability of the choice of the fleet. As we had as we had bought three jumbo plane, ETR plane and our marketing Budgets were cut off because of the loss on the market. 
On first part, we were giving the 5,000 on the promotion and the marketing, and we had cargo also, but choice of speech. Now, this was the hardest decision we have ever taken. Uh, uh, at first, all of our, uh, all our competitors were given with the same three aircraft with the 19 seat capacity. Uh, further, we needed to either lease, take loan and buy new planes, or continue with the same beach craft. Now, this was the hardest decision to take. And due to this decision, that we had a turning point and we went through downfall. Due to different advice from team members, the company had difficulty choosing the right fleet of aircraft. Therefore, there were several buying, leasing, and disposal, which also affected the and questioned the company's sustainability and also increased cost. At first, we were on the top of the table among our competitors. We were doing very good. We were only budget airlines, and our stock was rising rapidly. But after that, on third quarter, when we decided to lease uh, Eber ER J135 with a high occupancy. Then slowly our stock started declining due to its maintaining cost, increase in maintaining cost, increase in marketing due to new rules and new flights. Though we had always had a uh, almost sixty percent occupancy, but uh, later we realized occupancy wasn't everything. We need to keep our focus on marketing and maintaining cost as well. So there were uh, that was where we lacked our decision. Five minutes left. Maintenance level two, like I said before. Some additional cleaning and maintenance costs occurred for our new flight, fuel contract, all fuel purchased on the spot market this quarter. Acquisition release three aero Spatial ATR 42. Though we already had three Beechcraft, we decided to release three more aero Spatial ATR 42. This was a sell one Beechcraft, 1900, sell two Beechcraft, terminate four in rear ER J135. Last future plans. The company will now use single type of aircraft to cut maintenance cost. Exactly, like I said earlier, we uh, we want to use single type of aircraft with low seat capacity on our budget uh, plan to cut down on the maintenance cost. Because at first we're only focused on occupancy, and since we had high occupancy, we went from bigger planes with high seat capacity, which didn't turn out good. The company will also invest in the quality and training of its employees. This will help increase the reliability and hence reduce the refund. The company will also expand its market as a current market seems unprofitable. Now the company is planning to go in search for new routes with low mileage, where we can save fuels and increase occupancy and cut down the cost. The company will use some loans from the bank for the expansion. The company will also invest more in marketing to make its brand known in the market. So now, not just on leasing or buying new planes, we'll be more focused on marketing as well. Thank you. The first, uh, like, uh, four of the yeah. quarter, we, we, we had the biggest stock and everything. But then uh, we sat down, our manager, everybody sat down, we had, we had to make decisions to, like, either lease, go with the same route, or to buy new aircraft. And we decided to lease and get more bigger aircraft, but that decision went really, really bad for us. And uh, so we had to go with so many cut down of uh, the wages and everything. And that, because of that, we had to face loss. Yeah, so that means your competitors are sort of non, non airlines. Yeah, non, non, non airlines. Yeah. Yeah. We can't really, really compete with the luxury airlines because we are, we are not, we're not in their, yeah. Yeah, because uh, our customers and uh, maybe our customers will go to normal airlines, but they will never ever go to a luxury airlines because they can't afford it. Okay. So on the basis of the SOAP analysis, strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. So on the basis of that, how could you actually form the disparities for them? So on the basis of SOAP analysis, because that is not to actually form the disparities. So how does SOAP analysis help you to form the disparities of them? Oh, because of the short, we uh, we figured out our strength. We figured out our weakness, and we were we we we, we because of that we made our future plans. If we ever run for example, for, for example, with the last uh, so our strength was the only budget airlines industry. Yeah. Uh, but now uh, trend was all the normal airlines industries. Okay, to us. And our price was also one of our main strategies. 
we are spending more due to like we, we bought like a very big plane and we're trying to actually increase our seats and trying to we will just have some other things that turned out to be our weakness later. Uh, and all the weaknesses were like our no profit due to our uh, price and uh, current type of that's, price. That's for financial strategy. Whatever the, your operational strategy that may work or did not work. Uh, marketing strategy that works or did not work. Marketing strategy. So how, how come your company become lowest performing in a company in the industry, right? In, in the beginning it was good. And yes. you have the highest load factor also, it's yeah. very good. But still, your company is the lowest performing in the stock, and then the, your financial net revenue also, right? So because all our focus will be to augment and getting more things with more C capacity, and we lost track in our marketing. So yeah, there was a the lack of budget in marketing. Yeah. marketing, and it was also a bad decision from me. It's been a budget and it's been a decision in the marketing, or decision in the operation, or decision in the finance, or you know, maybe you have you have no educate financial supports, right? Yes, and that might be your you know, or maybe your purchasing new you know, other airlines or the wrong decisions, maybe in terms of the operations again, or number of flights you you know uh, you know flew to the that route, maybe one or two, that may be not significant, okay, that may be causing the loss. Okay. In terms of all those four factors. Okay, major disciplines. You you know you have to you know explain all those things, right? So, so and in the future, what will you do? You know, learning from that, what will you do? Then? What the problem really was is like I, like we've been through the whole thing, like we've done the whole thing, we've been through the whole thing, and what that can, what the problem was is our finance hit rest of our stuff, like the marketing budget was hit due to like we bought like a really big plane and all of our budgets were like going. Why so many wrong decisions came there? Because we were more focusing on our sales. Because we want more seat occupancy and that's why as a financial reason we bought and leased lots of land. What life. happens within yourself, within your growth? No, just we bought the had no, no communications no. or no you know, brainstorming or what, what went wrong here in the rest of your department? Um, this was a decision we made by every every we we, we accepted the decision every one. So uh, we So probably you have a problem with the HR no, 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 the HR department itself, right? The HR decisions, the strategy yes. was so now, we are planning to use single type of aircraft that would be beach craft. So that we have like same kind of plane, so it would be uh, so you cut down on meeting no, no, uh, and we speak by one person. So that we could cut down on our maintenance, first work, and besides being more focused on leasing or buying new planes, uh, we'll get some loans. Yeah, definitely, if needed, we'll purchase new planes. But then we'll more focus on marketing and new flights. I mean, like new routes. We spend more on marketing and go in search of new routes with the same kind of aircraft. Probably uh, not three, maybe five or seven, but same kind of aircraft, beach craft, and not bigger craft. Because our biggest mistake was buying bigger craft. And all our focus went on occupancy, then on marketing and all. So bigger craft was like a big hit for us because then we had to go for the occupancy. But since we're, now we're planning to have a small craft, occupancy is automatically there now. We can focus on more marketing and cutting down on maintenance okay. costs. Okay. And your revenues are steadily increasing. That's what net profits are steadily. Yep. Why was so? The net profit was increasing because we were putting the one month sales on our ticket. So that, that they were, that helped us to increase our profit on our quarter. But the other thing was we had lots of operation costs. So as you were paying for the, paying to the wages, what the, the, the cause behind constant operation costs? What sort of cause? Uh, I didn't really question, sorry. If you look at your performance chart at the time, yes. You can see that the cost is constant over time. The straight line, constant. Yeah. Yeah. Perfectly constant. Incredible. Linear. You could be doing that. What's up with fluctuation on our operation? Because we were stick with the same, suppose like we were providing the same basis for like constant water. Something is, something is very strange. It's very unusual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have our system. <laughs>